name is Leslie Parr and I'm the author of The Value of Lost Secrets. I am really, really delighted to be nominated and shortlisted for a Spark Book Award. My story, The Value of Lost Secrets, is about a boy called Jimmy and his little brother Ronnie who are evacuated from Islington in London to South Wales at the very, very start of the Second World War. And what happens when Jimmy gets there to distract him from his misery, because he's really, really not happy to be there. He doesn't want to be there at all. He misses his dad, he misses his nan, and he feels very responsible for Ronnie, is that he finds a human skull in a hollow tree. And that actually is something that makes his life better. And you wouldn't think that it would, but it does. And not only Jimmy, but also it makes the lives of other people in the village that he's been sent to better as well. So I'm going to read you just a couple of pages and I'm actually going to read you the part where Jimmy discovers the skull. I need to put my glasses on. So he's gone up into a tree to be on his own because he's really cheesed off. I don't know how long I've been up here, but the sun's moved quite far across the sky and I'm hungry. I suppose I'd better go. I twist around on the branch and slip backwards. Rough bark scratches the backs of my knees. My stomach's going to leave my body and all I can see are branches and sky. My arms whirl and flap like a mad bird and I'm falling, falling. I reach out, grab hold of the tree and cling on, breathing hard. My heart pounding against the trunk. It's definitely time to get down. I edge along the branch and hang like a monkey before dropping to the ground. I land awkwardly, my knees buckling, my arm flying out sideways as I try to save myself. My hand slides along the ground and into a gap in the tree trunk. It's a bit like the entrance to a wigwam and perhaps even wide enough for me to fit inside. Not that I would try. Small spaces make my head spin. I pull back and my fingers stroke something smooth and hard. I rub the dirt off my scuffed hand, then grip the edges of the hollow and squint inside. It's quite dark and I can't make out much, but when my eyes start to adjust, a shape forms. On the ground, just inside the tree, is something round and dirty, about the size of a small football with three holes on one side. I reach in and hook my fingers through the holes to lift it out. Now it's in daylight, I can see what it is. And I feel like I'm slipping off the branch all over again. A human skull. My fingers are inside its eye sockets, touching the underside of the head where the person's brain used to be. I don't know how it got here, whose it is, but I know it's real. I try to shove it back inside the tree, but my fingers shake and it falls to the ground, rolling into the long grass. I force myself to look. It lies there, watching me without eyes. I don't want to put it back. I don't want to pick it up again. I run. And from there, Jimmy's life changes, as I say, for the better. Thank you. Bye.